Oh, this is you, if it's optically active, another, so it's a non-superimposable mirror image, another really easy way to say it, if there's a carbon with four different groups on it, then it has to be, so you're looking for a carbon with four different items on it. It could be helpful to draw these out, but you're going to see this, this one doesn't have a carbon with four different things on it. This has three hydrogens. This only has three different groups on it. This one has three different groups on it. This one would look like... <coughs> that. So you can see either way if you look at this or this, there's no carbon with four different groups on it. Next one. Oh. Okay. Next one. Uh, this carbon has two CH3s on it. That's already out. This carbon has three hydrogens. That's out. And this has only two things on it. This carbon, well, three. This oxygen, this oxygen. This one looks like. Uh, if you want to draw this out, that, either way you look at it, there's not three different groups, or four different groups on any given carbon. Okay, third one, this one, no, has three hydrogens that are identical. This has two hydrogens identical. That one's out. This one's a winner. I've got an H, an NH2, an ethyl, and a COOH. That's four. If you want to draw it out, it would look like uh, a pro uh, ethyl, uh, a hydrogen. We've got an NH2, and we've got a COOH. Four different groups on this carbon right here. That one's going to be optically active. Um, I didn't draw R or S, but that one, or or could be optically active if, it's, if there's only R or S. This one again doesn't have four different groups. On the carbon, there's two hydrogens. This one only has three groups. This one, if you want to draw it out, will look like this. And then finally, this carbon has four methyls. These methyls all have three hydrogens. There's not four different groups. Uh, this would look like a T. Is that? Okay. Yeah. Push on this. Uh -huh. Yeah. On the third one you drew, you know yeah. circled that carbon right. in the middle. Um, how is that four different groups and that's on the same carbon? Well, a hydrogen an amine group, an ethyl, I'm not prioritizing, I'm just telling you there's four different entities hanging off of it, and a carboxyl acid. So yeah, so we're not prioritizing, we're not going carbon, carbon, we're doing <coughs> oh, this thing is different than this thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, so determine the direction, like R or S, so do you know how to do that just from what's given right now? It would be impossible because it's not drawn in 3D. Yeah. So you could put it in 3D and then figure out if it was RS. Yeah. Uh, just a quick question on the carbox carboxylic acid. Sometimes they call it just a carboxy group. Sometimes or a carboxyl group. And sometimes they call it carboxylic acid. The functional name is carboxylic acid. But if it's a substituent, I think you'd call it like a carboxyl group or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you just need to know the functional name. Same with OH. Uh, there's no alcohol all by itself. But if it's an alcohol, as a functional group, it's called alcohol. But as a substituent or a branch, it's called a hydroxy group or hydroxyl. Any other questions on this one? Yeah. yeah. Like the one second from the bottom. Did you say that was was that chiral or not? No, only C. Only the third. The third one. Why isn't that? There's no carbon that has four different groups on it. So this one has only three, so that's totally out of the picture. And this one has one, two, but two of these are hydrogens. So because two of the groups are identical, if two or more groups are identical, it can't be. It's impossible to be optically active. Yeah, I was just thinking about the one that had three different, because all of them are different. Yeah, if there's three, it's out. I think it's so obviously two or three only, out of four, it's out. So if there's a double or triple bond, 
it's it's not going to be optically active as a carbon itself. 